Hello everyone, this is Rick Morgan. I wanted to show some experiments in photo bleaching a comic book, what happens with different concentrations of peroxide. I've done this a few times before, but people ask for these experiments, so I'll continue to do them. In this case, I just use 6%, which is considered very strong, and 0.6%, which is considered pretty weak. There are diminishing returns, uh, you know, spoiler alert on that, but higher concentration does work better at risk of you know possibly helping to bleach out some of the red colors and maybe embrilling the paper a little bit, but um, does work better in a short amount of time. So uh, we're gonna use for our, our experiment today, Amazing Spider-Man number 38. This is famously the last Steve Vitko issue. Here's the what the cover looks like. It's from July, it's publishing date of July of 1966. In this book, we will we, oh, well, I should stop and notice. So this is just kind of a, not a really uh, a big issue. Not a lot happens in it. There's a boxer uh, in there who gets like some powers from falling in some chemicals and arc light or something. And we never hear of this guy again. But Ned Leeds gets in a fight with Peter over Betty. There's like, some character development. We get to see yet another, uh, you know, obscured uh, Mary Jane with uh, bushes around her. I'll show you that image here. And the mannequin you see in the same frame is supposedly uh, Stan Lee. And you say, what, Stan Lee, how's this? It was um, one of uh, Dick, Dicko's parting shot famously, or at least rumored to be famously uh, at Stan Lee. And I just don't see it looking at this mannequin, but here's a picture of Stan Lee from 1966. And I'm like, well, I kind of see it, you know? And um, Dicko didn't even really draw the cover of this book because it's made from interior interior panels. This uh, big one here is, I believe, from, um, this is page uh, 13 and the fourth panel, page 13. And then we have this one uh, down here, which is uh, page seven, panel six, I would think. And then we have page 12, panel four for this guy. And then the last one, I think, is, um, you know, I just don't remember what this last one, maybe 13. I think it's page 13, panel four. But so that you didn't even really didn't even get a proper a proper cover. Not really that great of a book, but it's a fun one and it's a farewell to Ditko and a little more of a development of, of Peter character and some uh, Mary Jean uh, tea stuff. And so there's some fun there's some fun stuff in there. I remember when I read this book as a kid. There's a letter from a Marilyn or a Mary Morgan or something in the back. Yeah, Marilyn Morgan. My last name is Morgan. So I thought, oh, that's funny. What if we're related? And I remember wondering like she had her address at like uh, 826 Central Avenue in Johnstown, Pennsylvania. And I thought, well, I'll maybe write a letter and see, you know, if she uh, <laughs> related to me or something. I was like seven or eight. So this was been like 12 or 13 years after this book came out. Clearly this kid didn't live there anymore. Never heard back. But um, yeah, I don't, that house may still exist, may not. Uh, anyway, it's a fun story for me to remember this, remember reading this this book back in the, uh, the late 70s um, so but anyway um, I of course am remiss in my duties of getting along with the comic book and I'll, I'll tell you that what I did was I took the top third of this book and I um, uh, misted it with six uh, percent of peroxide of hydrogen peroxide with DI water then I you know I had another spray bottle that diluted the same solution, uh, one to nine for a total of 10, one part in 10 total, uh, to 0.6%. That's the middle uh, third of this book. And then the bottom third was um, not, not treated at all. And this is the initial picture of the book. And you can see that I put it here. I'll show you that I'm putting it into uh, Lightbox. I put it in for two hours. I meant to put it in for an hour. But uh, after I looked at it in an hour, I needed a little more, I think, to make clear the differences. Uh, so I ended up putting it in for, for, uh, for two hours total. One final note on the story. This is one of the first times that Gwen express, expresses interest in Peter. She says, no matter what the others say, there's something so strong, so proud about Peter Parker. And, you know, for us as the readers, looking back, we know that someday that Harry, the man sitting behind her, her father would kill her because of, you know, because she's in love with Peter, which is sort of interesting in retrospect. So here, here's the book when we're, now that we're done, and the top third definitely looks lighter 
color than the middle third and the bottom. It's subtle though, right? It is subtle. This this may help here. I'm going to annotate it a little bit, show you that uh, the top third was six percent, the middle is 0.6, and the bottom is untreated or neat. And you can take a look at these color differences for yourself. The red, I would say, the red is a little photo bleached out in the title, not severely, but a little bit. Versus the the center of the book, it's definitely whiter, I would say. And so you sort of have to make that that balance yourself. Let's look at it cropped in a little bit so we can have a little bit of a better observation here. And by the way, the paper doesn't feel any more stiff in one area than another. It, it seems about the same, but you can see the top section under the title. It's whiter than it is in the middle, which is better than the bottom, which is nothing at all. But the reds are a little photo bleached out like we noted before, but take a moment to to sort of inspect these and see what you like. You know, you get 6%, there's a, there's a trade off. You kind of want to know where you live in this, this space. Half a percent does some good work and it's a subtle difference, right? Only by staring at it, standing here, looking at all these sections, is it a really obvious difference? So maybe half a percent's for you, but 10 times as much 6%, it's diminishing returns. You don't really get everything back that you put into it, but it definitely is is wider at the same time. So there you have it, folks, the difference between 6 and 0.6% uh, peroxide. I didn't take a lot of photos of the back because I wasn't really doing it that much, but you can see uh, we had a similar effect. It's it's subtle, right? I mean, it's hard to tell unless the light's just right, so it may not be worth putting the 6% on, but I think where it's most distinguishable is right here. This is the 0.6% area, and this is the 6%. You can see that it is whiter there and the blues and the blacks don't take any damage at all from the photo bleaching so it's pretty um pretty safe on the the, the back of the book but you know it's a great it's fun spider-man stuff it's fun cleaning comic books so what's not to love right we'll let some ditko some ditko goodness in our lives of course and because i'm uh you know super proud of it i wanted to show it yet again my uh to rick uh, steve ditko autograph with spider-man eyes on it on a, a golden book a little golden book cover so i'm i'm intensely proud of this i have to show it one more time to the audiences of the world uh forgive me for that little self-indulgence anyway uh take care everybody i hope you enjoyed the video see you later bye bye